be very quiet out in the bush looking for big animals, but in the context of the lives of these termites and ants, it could not be more traumatic than it is right now. This is a raid. The red ants have attacked the termite colony and seem to be overwhelming the much larger cockroach-related animals. And where they're taking them, I'm not sure, but if you look down to the bottom of your screen, you might just be able to see a pathway where I'm pointing now. And it seems that the ants are going to and fro on that pathway. In fact, they are, and they're carrying little baby termites with them. Isn't it amazing how you can look down to the scale of something you, this, this size, and this could not be more traumatic. This is a massacre. It's a complete massacre. There is more violence than these termites will ever experience. Some termites will go through their whole lives never having experienced any violence, just like some people will. But these termites are experiencing uh, the worst possible kind of violence. They're being kidnapped and killed and then dragged off towards the red ant nest where they will be eaten. And so while it's completely quiet, where Tristan is on the macro level, on the micro level, there is massive large-scale trauma. And if I point in here, can you see there, Craig? Yeah. That termite, for example, is being carried away by a whole lot of ants. There are no soldier termites here. In fact, let's go down to here. This one is being, is trying to fight away, but it's being killed. There are a whole lot of them there, struggling, completely overwhelmed. And I don't know why there are no soldiers here. They look to be worker termites. Where they've come from, I don't know. I think they're probably living inside this log that I'm lying on, actually. And maybe they'll be out gathering this piece of grass. But they're in big trouble now. Leo, you want to know how big termites get? Well, the major soldier of a macrotermes natalensis will get as big as, I mean, probably as, yeah, almost the length of my, the last joint of my thumb. So between the end of my thumb and that piece of grass, that's probably how big they get. But they're not common, those ones. They have enormous heads with vicious pincers on them, and they will draw blood. But here, there appear to be absolutely no soldiers at all. Just the tiny little workers. Now, I know this, this is far too traumatic for most people to continue watching, so let's move away from this to something endangered, but more cheerful. <laughs>